Welcome to Excel Business Math Series here at YouTube. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, the file name is Business 135, Chapter 00. This is the introduction to Excel. If you are at YouTube, you can, of course, go to my uh, YouTube site and then click on this link right here. And all the way down at the bottom is the Business Math Series. If you are taking the class from me at Highline, you just go to our website and download this workbook. Hey, uh, first we got to talk about what is Excel before we get into all of the delicious math using Excel. Excel does basically two things, calculations and data analysis. Let's just look at a basic example of both. Calculations, we have some minutes and we want to add. As we will see later, uh, a formula um, can do various things. It can do math, it can do uh, text strings, it can do other things also. Let's just do a basic formula here adding up these values. Now in 2007 you go to the home ribbon and there is the auto sum button. In 2003 that's on the uh, toolbar. However I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut you can see right there it says alt equals alt equals and that automatically puts in a formula there's an equal sign an equal sign's got to be the first character in the cell if you're going to do a formula then it says sum that's built in code that knows to add and then it's got this range f4 to f9 there's f4 to f9 and these dancing ants are marching and dancing around this selected area now if excel doesn't guess right you can simply take your cursor and redirect it which we'll see how to do later. This is an example of calculations in Excel. I'm going to hit enter to put that formula in the cell. The beauty of that is because it's a formula and these are input cells, if I change this time to 12, watch how this updates here when I hit enter. Now data analysis, we'll just do a very simple example here. We will sort, sort. I'm going to go to the home ribbon and there's the A to Z button. In 2003 it's on your um, toolbar. You simply click it, but wait a second, don't click it yet. When you're doing data analysis you have to have a field name at the top, record, um, all of your records which are data points for us here, and there's got to be blanks all the way around. That's why I have that nice little thin column there. And the trick for sorting is you click in one cell because Excel will look everywhere, get all the data, and get the field name at the top. All right, let's try it. A to Z, and just like that, we have it sorted from uh, smallest to biggest. You could also uh, do that. How about uh, largest to smallest? Zoop, just like that. So data analysis calculations, the two main types of things you do in Excel. Now let's uh, figure out how things are laid out in Excel. What's a column? Hey, this is a column right here. That's the B column. That's the C column. <coughs> oh, that's up and down like this, right? All the cells um, up and down in one column, and they're represented by letters. How about rows? Hey, here's a row right here, row 5, row 7. So rows will be left to right. So all the cells go left to right. And they are represented by numbers. That will become very important later on. How about right now? Cell. When we define a cell, uh, we're going to define it as the intersection of a row and column. Hey, let's click right here and C6. No way. Up in the name box, you can see there's a C for column C and a 6 for row 6. The intersection of C and 6, boom, that's a cell. A cell. In 2007, there's like 17 billion cells. In earlier versions, depending on which one you have, there's maybe 16 million. Now, <clears throat> so we have lots of cells here. We could see um, right here is the horizontal scroll bar. I can use it to scroll over. We can see there's some cells over here. When we did our little formula just a moment ago, I'll hit F2 to put this in edit mode. We can see cells F4 to F9. That's a range of cells separated by a colon. I'm going to use the horizontal scroll bar. And actually, now I'm going to use the um, vertical scroll bar. So I can click and drag it down. Now, so we got columns, rows, cells. What about a worksheet? Oh, all of these cells are made up and create one worksheet. Notice I have a little tricky formula right here. If you type a, a little dot there and hit Enter, and then come over here and double click this, it'll, it'll uh, 
show you the words in that cell. Hey, what is a worksheet? It's all the cells in one sheet. Now, what about a sheet tab? Ooh, look at that. It's called What is Excel? Let's click right here. Oh, there's another sheet. And then I'm going to click right here. There's still another sheet. Now, you can move these, use these scroll arrows one at a time to expose. But watch how this order of operations remains selected, even though I use this. You could see that there's more sheets hidden under here, the horizontal scroll bar. I can go back. And there's the one we're currently on. We can click on it, and it jumps to the next one. You could also go all the way to the front and all the way to the back, all the way to the front. I'm going to click on this right here. So a sheet tab will be the name of the worksheet. So what about a workbook? We have columns, rows, cells, worksheets, all the cells, a workbook. See, this is a workbook, Business 135, Chapter 00.xls. I'm using this. Um, this is an earlier extension from 2003. If you are using 2007, you might see .xlsx or .xlsm. For this class and these workbooks, we are not going to use those extensions. We're going to use .xls. That is the workbook name. And the workbook all is defined as all of the sheets, all of the worksheets. So, oh, wait a second. I can't, I, I thought I got back. If I use this button to go all the way back, it would show me this one, not until I click on it. All right, so a workbook is going to be all the worksheets. Now, save. I want to talk about the difference between save and save as. What is save? Hey, Control S is the keyboard shortcut for save. Saves the changes you made to the workbook. Yeah, so you have downloaded this, right? And now I've, I've changed some things here. I've added some dots. I did some sorting, some formulas. Now, I'm going to Control S. It doesn't seem, oh, here's the compatibility checker because we're using an earlier file extension. This just tells you what elements you have in your spreadsheet or work book that cannot be seen in earlier versions like 2003. It says conditional formatting. We don't need to worry about that. If it's usually formatting, it doesn't really matter. Here, there's some formatting. If it says something like uh, using a function, then if you only have an earlier version, it won't work. The function or the formula won't work. So usually, we can just ignore this. And in fact, in this class, is, there's almost nothing we will create or use that's not in earlier versions. I'm going to say continue, and it's saved. It saved all the changes. Now, what is save as? Save as. In this class, sometimes you're going to have to change the workbook name. So watch this. Right now, it's uh, Business 135, Chapter 00. I'm actually going to use my keyboard shortcut F12. In 2007, under the Office button here, you have Save and Save As. I'm going to click Escape. Um, I'm going to use F12 for Save As. Now, for this class, there's going to be lots of workbooks, so I would suggest saving them uh, all in uh, a folder somewhere. Now, I'm going to go to my desktop. You could easily save it on one of your jump drive or something. And I want to look at, I've selected this drop down here, and I have the power to go anywhere on this computer. I'm going to say desktop and right here. Now, if you're using Vista or a, di a different uh, um, operating system, your buttons may look different, but you want to find the one that says Create New Folder. So I want to click Create New Folder, and because the desktop is selected, it will create a new folder. I'm going to call this Business Math, Business 135, or whatever you want to call it. Click OK. And just like that, I have a new folder. Now, where is that new folder? Oh, look, it's on the desktop. Right, and so now I'm going to change the name of this. I'm going to uh, call this um, "worked on file." So this is the one I'm working on. I could have that uh, blank one uh, to come back if I wanted to practice again. I'm going to click Save. So that's Save as. Continue. So we just created a folder. A folder. Uh, we will use a folder something like called Business Math. Now we want to talk about typing in cells. Typing in cells. Um, let's uh, type a word right here, excellent. So I, t I typed excellent, and then I'm going to hit T. 
tab, not enter. Tab. Tab is another way to put something in the cell. Oh, but look, the cursor jumps over there. And I'm going to type uh, the word fun. And now I'm going to hit enter. Notice tab went this way. Enter goes down unless you're entering data like this. Then it jumps back over here. Now let's do uh, the number 43, tab, and then 12.5, uh, 12 12 enter. Very important, words are always going to be aligned to the left, numbers always to the right. That's important because sometimes uh, when you get data in the business world, your numbers will show up on the left. And that means there could be trouble because numbers stored as text can lead to some trouble. So it's very important if you don't ha add any formatting, you just type I mean, you don't add any special custom formatting. You can add colors and borders and things like that. But if you don't add any alignment, which in 2007 is up here, these buttons are on the toolbars in earlier versions. If you don't add that kind of alignment, then it's very convenient because you can always know for sure whether you have Excel thinks it's a word or text, or if Excel thinks it's a number or text. If it's a line over here, it would think if it's a text. Now I want to do a basic formula. Well, in our next video, we'll talk more about formulas. Uh, here, I just want to add these two. Uh, just a moment ago, we did um, the sum function. Here, we're just going to build a simple formula. Now, the trick is the equal sign. The equal sign. You got to find the equal sign. It's to the left of backspace. Equal. And I'm going to, um, it, when you put an equal sign as the first character, then Excel knows it's a formula. And then I'm going to take my cursor and click right on that. See, it puts a cell reference in. Now I'm going to type a plus symbol, and I'm going to use the um, number pad. And then I'm going to click on that cell right there. Now, this formula is awesome. It is beautiful when it comes to math because it's not looking at the actual numbers. It's just looking at the cells there. So if we change those numbers, it will update. Now, to put a formula in, do not use your cursor. Lots of you that know how to use Word know that you could use your cursor if you wanted to, but that won't work because if you use your cursor, what does it do? It changes your formula. If you accidentally do that, just click back on the cell you want. So you either got to use enter or tab, um, and there's some other methods too, but just don't use your uh, cursor. Hey, look at that 55. So if I change this to 1, that automatically updates. All right, that's um, what is Excel introduction. Come back for your next video, and we'll talk about formulas and operators in this business math class.